Hey guys, it's Lisa and I am going to do a Gap try on haul today. You guys know how much I love Gap. I think the clothes are made so well. They're so soft. I'm never really disappointed with something that I get from Gap. Now I went in yesterday just to see what they had come in and I had this really nice guy that helped me and I chose all of their best selling jeans. So what I'm going to show you today is gosh nine maybe ten pair of pants. About four of them are some knit athletic pants and then two pair of like chinos just some really good stuff you guys i wasn't even planning on doing this video today and i'm so excited i thought i'm gonna go ahead and do it now while i'm ready to talk about it grab yourself a drink get ready for a fun try on haul girls out there that love the jeans and t-shirt i've been thinking about you i myself love a good pair of jeans a good t-shirt and a good tank top and that's what we've got so we're going to start with the outfit that i have on right now and i am going to wear my ugly microphone today because i feel like it just works best when i go ahead and wear it but this is the linen blazer that goes with the linen trousers that I love so much. So today I've got a picture I'll put in here, but today I'm wearing them with my chunky Nike tennis shoes. But when I saw this blazer, I actually saw it last time I was in there and I thought, no, I don't need another white blazer, but I do because this one is so different. It's made out of the exact same linen cotton blend as the pants. I've got it just pushed up and my sleeves held by the hair bands. That works out great for me. And then I've got on a old Zara bodysuit and I just love this outfit. This was kind of inspired by a teacher that works at Will's, my son, his high school. It's not his teacher, but when I'm picking him up, there is a teacher that comes out and she has a suit on most every day and it looks so good. And she has on like sneakers or, you know, just some kind of cool shoes. So she looks comfortable, but she looks stylish. Stylish. It really sets her apart. And I know I have a lot of you out there that love this look, especially us women in our late 40s and 50s. This is such a good look to look on trend, but not look like we're trying too hard. It's just a good one. So another shoe I would wear with this all the way would be my Zara clear heels, the double strap, my favorite ones. That's something that I would go to too. So with all of these jeans that I try on today, I will list the shoes that I'm wearing down below because I tried to use a different pair of shoes for each one just so you could see different looks. And then I did grab a few tops from other retailers just to throw in here, but the two t-shirts are amazing because I'm kind of doing like a little white t-shirt experiment right now. And then I have a black tank top. So I'll be right back. Okay, so my first outfit is one of my favorite pairs of jeans. You guys know I love the Girlfriend Fit jeans. This is one of their best sellers and I got the white. They come already turned up at the bottom, but you could cut them off, you know, put them down, do what you want to with them. That's kind of what girlfriend means, is they're, they're kind of like a boyfriend fit, but a little bit more fitted. They are just such a good pair of jeans. One of my all-time favorites. Then I grabbed the Gap Organically Grown, just their little V-neck tee. I myself usually prefer a crew neck for some reason, even though they say the V-neck is more flattering, it's more lengthening yada yada i don't know why i usually prefer a crew neck but this one is just perfect it feels good it is a really nice soft fabric and i have had gap tees just probably for the past 30 years and i've always loved gap t-shirts so this is our first outfit of course you know i love white on white it's always a good look and you can do any shoe with it your flats your tennis shoes little boots heels it's just such a good look it's very youthful very classy and i think this is something that a lot of you would really like okay my second pair of jeans was my biggest happy surprise last time i was in there one of the managers told me that these were their hottest sellers people were loving them and they were hanging up and i kind of looked at them and i thought eh, you know they just didn't really look like 
what I was into at the moment. But when I asked him yesterday what the best sellers were, he said this was one of their hottest sellers. He said it looks so cute on. One of the girls had tried them on with a pair of wedges and it looked so good. So I went ahead and got them and I thought the white would be just such a good color to get in this style. You guys, they are amazing. They feel so good on and they are so flattering. This is the most flattering silhouette that you can get. It, for one thing, it's a tiny bit cropped so that your shoes will show. It says high rise, but it's not a crazy high rise. It's just on me, it probably comes up to my belly button. Just beautiful. These will be a pair of jeans you can use for so many things. You could put this with a sweater, like a light cashmere sweater. You could put this with a tank top, a graphic tee. So many things you can do with these. And I just paired it with this top that I got a few weeks ago, actually, at H&M. I just, I love red. And this is just perfect because these came up high enough that this met, you know, right at the waistband and it just looked so pretty. So such a good summertime outfit and just lots and lots of options with these jeans. Okay, so we couldn't stop there with the white. So I ended up getting this color, which I think is just flattering on everyone. It's not too dark. It's not too light. There aren't any like distressed spots on it, no holes. I think that this is just the perfect, perfect denim color, just with a little bit of like your whiskering right there, just really, really flattering. And you might notice in the footage that I still have some of these tags on because this is a true try on. This is as if I picked everything that I wanted and then I went to the dressing room. Instead, I came home and I tried it on with you. <laughs> so if you see a tag, I think I'm gonna keep everything. So I probably took it off, but I just noticed that this still has like the thread on there. But these are just must-haves. Right now they're running that sale where it's buy one, get one half. So I saved a lot of money. Okay, and this is their t-shirt. I wish I knew. I need to get my receipt to show you the exact one, but it's organically grown cotton. This is me all the way. I love just a good crew neck, white cotton tee. It's just fitted enough, perfect length, just a really, really nice tee. Now I got the small. Last year I was getting the extra small and I noticed I wasn't wearing them as much as I should or as much as I usually do. And I think it's because it made me self-conscious like around my tummy area. You have to be kind of careful, especially with white tees, maybe size up. And that way it won't show like your belly button and just different little things that we don't necessarily want to be showing. So I did get the small. And I would say that they're true women sizes. That's what I would say. So this outfit, just so good. And you could put any belt with it, any shoes, just go anywhere and feel really good and really stylish. Guys, I almost didn't get these. When I asked what their best selling jeans were, he named these first. And I looked over at them and I said, what's the difference in those and skinny jeans? He said, because those flare out a little bit at the bottom. And they are the vintage slim high rise. In all of these, I got the 27 or the size four. These are amazing. This is like filling a spot in my jean wardrobe that was open and empty because I haven't been wearing my skinny jeans, but I do like that silhouette. A lot of times, well, this is like that, but better because it's a little bit cropped and see how it just slightly kicks out at the bottom. That's what keeps it from being a skinny jean because they're not like hugging your ankle. It's in no way like a jegging or anything like that. Very, very flattering. All of these have a really nice rise too. Like even if they say high rise, it's not anything that makes you look like the zipper isn't that long. You know what I mean? And then this is a t-shirt I actually had in my closet from last year and they still sell it. I think it's, yeah, they're modern tee. And I really like this, but here again, it's the extra small. And you'll see in the footage that it's just a little too snug. I wish it had just a few more like little wrinkles and stuff around the tummy area, some ruching. And so I will probably give this to Brooke or give this to someone and get the size small in this 
in the white and in the black because it is very smooth. It's not as like organic cotton. It's more of a blend, I believe. Let me see. Yes, this is, let's see, 56 cotton, 39 modal, and 3% spandex. So this is gonna give you even more of a polished, dressy look. Like if you wanted to wear your trousers and just a, a nice looking tee, this would be something very smooth. It even has not really a sheen, but it just looks a little bit nicer than the cotton, but I feel like there's a place for the cotton too. Both of them are just great. So don't be like me and turn your nose up at these vintage slims because I think that they are gonna be one of my favorites. The first thing I thought of is what shoes do I want to wear with these? And I ended up getting my green Bottegas. I just saw this morning, I think the Coach shoes that I love so much, I think they come in green. So I think you need to get the green Coach shoes you need a good, a good white tee and get these jeans and you are gonna be set with a really killer outfit. Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a wild card for me. I have done this before. I think the last time I bought men's jeans or pants may have been at J. Crew. But when I was you know, looking all around, I looked up behind the cash register and there was this girl with these black trousers on with a belt and this black tee. And I could tell that either she had way sized up in the trousers or they must have been men's. And he said that they thought that they were these men's trousers. It's the 90s loose khaki and I got the 3030. I cinched them up with this belt. I got this at Gap last year and they still have it. It's a size 30, but what I like about it is it's like black on black on black. And then this tank top. Now this is kind of like that t-shirt I just showed you. It's the modern tank. So it's gonna be that same blend of cotton and modal. And it is more of that polished look. It almost gives you a bodysuit look because it's so, sleek to your body and there's plenty of length for you to tuck it in nicely but I love this outfit. I loved it. I tried it on with flip-flops for you because I wanted you to see that casual vibe. And then I tried, I rolled them up and tried it on with those white Vince Camuto. And I'll be honest with you, I love those white Vince Camuto shoes, but I don't know if they're vibing when I wear them. I hope that if you got them, that you like them or I've caught you in time to return them, but I don't think they're gonna be as wearable as I thought they were gonna be. So I might might end up getting just the solid black because I love the style and they're very comfortable and I love the Velcro, but it seems like I've been trying to, you know, like put them with cool outfits. Like I just knew they were gonna look so good with this because of the edginess, but I wasn't feeling it. I actually liked the flip-flops more. So let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you like the flip-flops or the white wedge sandals better. But I really liked these. So open your mind to the men's trousers. I know that a lot of us, you know, I always want to look very feminine, so I don't think about the men's trousers, but it was a really cool look. It caught my eye, and I think it would be something that you would enjoy playing with. Okay, the next outfit does not want to hang on my hanger, but it is this really cool top. It's also available in white. I actually bought this the last time I was there, but it is a really nice little eyelet top. I would think that you could probably pull those off the shoulder, but it stays on my shoulder and I just love it. It's a really cute look, still sexy, not too like immature looking. Like I don't feel like a giant toddler or anything. Very chic and very different and eyelet is very on trend and it would go with the summer black. Then I picked up these. These are the straight up khaki. They are just Amazing. So if you don't feel like trying the men's pants, these are definitely a little bit more of a feminine silhouette, not as baggy, a lot more streamlined, but still very, very cool. I love that they're almost like a faded black side pockets, the same type silhouette where it kind of flows away from our hip area, looks very flattering, 
lots of shoes would look so good with this. You could do a color, you could do flip-flops, you could do tennis shoes, just lots of options. That's what I always think about when I'm looking at pants. And that's one reason I don't go for the flare and the boot cut as much. It's like I'll buy them and I like them, but I don't end up wearing them because the shoe situation gets complicated. With all of these, the shoe situation is perfect. The possibilities are endless. So I think this is a really, really nice outfit. But when I was trying this on, I wanted to show you another pair of jeans. I think these are the last ones that he said were the most popular. And I have already shown them to you, worn them, and I love them, but I wanted to show them to you again. Here they are. You guys know I was gonna drag these back out. These are the 90s loose with this fabulous released hem and the slit on the side. So it just showcases your shoes beautifully. It is just the ultimate cool girl with it pair of jeans, so comfortable, so soft. I can see why these are one of the best sellers and you don't have to get the ones that have all of the rips or the bottom like that. They make them in all different washes and they actually make them in a white, but they don't sell those in the store. So I did order those because I want to try all kinds of different white jeans for us because that is one of the most difficult. And those white jeans, even the girlfriend jeans are, I believe, 99% cotton. So they are still that rigid cotton that is the most flattering on women our age, but they're thinner and they're not so tight. So they're still, you know, very appropriate for the summertime. I think that you would love those, but these, these have my heart because they're kind of funky and I love having good jeans that have, you know, like I said, just endless possibilities with the shoes. Okay, when I had this outfit on, I was thinking they're gonna be so shocked. This is so different than anything I typically wear. It's these, I think they might be the same. Yeah, this is, no, this is the high rise stride ankle. I believe it's like the jeans that I showed you before and the white ones, but it's in this navy twill. Just really, really sharp looking. And I paired it with this little tank that I got from Zara. And you know what it reminded me of? And I can't believe that this trend hasn't come back around. But when I was young, I would say maybe junior high school, if not younger. Do you guys remember when the sailor shirts were popular? Just a whole sailor collar and it would even have the two ties and they would usually go, you know, tucked down into a loop. I had a navy blue one with white trim and I wore it with this white um, pair. It was kind of like a, I guess you would call it like a skort zipped up on the side and they were full and I would wear that. And I had some white Hirachi sandals that laced up the ankle. And that was one of my like go-to outfits. I wish they would bring this sailor shirts back because I think that's such a cute look. And I think it's very, I don't know, coastal has been in the past couple years, but this is a very coastal looking outfit. I loved it. Even when I went to go talk to John about something, I had this on and he really liked it. He complimented me on it. So this for the win, I tell you, I did not expect to like everything. I thought, you know, I'll just try it on. That way I'll get to show them some different things. I didn't think I was gonna like those vintage slims. I didn't know if I'd like the men's pants and I didn't know if I would like these because I'm not typically a navy kind of girl, but I really liked this. I thought it was something different and it was still in my look, but just something a little different. Okay, the one thing that I wasn't crazy about is these pants. And let me tell you, they are so comfortable. When you put these on, you will never want to take them off. They were back in the Gap Fit section. They're a small and let's see, let me find out what they're made of because they are just like so soft. You can't believe it. 73% polyester, 22% modal, 6% spandex, and elastane. So that, that sounds like a good recipe for comfort, doesn't it? And it makes them kind of, you know how I love pants that are flowy? So when I saw these, I was like, oh my gosh, they're gonna be so good to like dress up. I don't know what that is. Something got on them, but I do like them. It's just like I talked about in my video about dressing younger and getting away with it. I will put that up here, size up. I wish I would have sized up to the medium. They would have hung on my hips a little bit more. These, you know, you don't want light color pants hugging on your butt. And I just feel like I would use them in a more dressed up way 
even more. So I could have taken them back, but what I figured is I would give them to my mom because my mom is a little bit smaller than I am and shorter. So I'm gonna give these to her, but I paired it with this Zara little tweed jacket that I showed you guys last Sunday in my Zara video. If you didn't see it, I'll put it up here. This is just so pretty. This would look so good too with some of the white jeans. Just a really nice little cropped blazer, not crazy cropped, but it would look good with the higher, you know, rise jeans. And it was a cute outfit. I paired it with my little Chanel slingbacks, but it just, these need to be bigger. And now while they're having that buy one, get one half off, I might go back and get the medium because I think I would enjoy those. And a lot of times I just want to put on some comfy pants and just go with it. So this I would say was probably my biggest negative, but I think if I size up, I will like them. Okay, this top. It's a chambray type shirt, but it's cropped. This is so cool. It is so flattering on. It feels so good. It's got the little kind of splits on the side and then like a little panel in there. Just really nice looking. This, hey Chanel. But I love this. They also have this in a white. They have it in a stripe, I believe but I just knew this would look good with so many things. I think this would look good with leggings and sneakers. I think it would look good with the white jeans. I think it would look good with so many things. And if you're someone who is self-conscious about your tummy, which I think we pretty much all are, this is perfect because it hangs you know, straight, but yet it still gives you that shape because you have that cut off, just like the boxy cropped tees I like so much. So just a really cool shirt. I might see if my mom wants one of these too because I think she might like it. It would look, really look good too with Bermuda khaki shorts and maybe those loafers from Sam Edelman. I just really like it and it's just really, really soft and nice. Okay, last but not least, I have the black pair of those pants. Also in the small, they do fit. Like when you look at them on me, you're gonna think they fit, but I want them to be really kind of baggy so that I have more shoe options and so that they're not like right on my body. Almost always, I would rather have something too big than too small. And then I just put it with my All Saints Balfern Moto Jacket with that same modern tank and it just made a really good outfit. And then you guys have seen this on me before, but I had it hanging here on the rack. They still have these, this little knit midi dress. I think I featured this in my spring trends video. I love it. It's very, very soft, very comfortable. I actually like the black one more than the fuchsia one, but this is really nice. They still have it. And right now they're having the buy one, get one half. So now's a good time if you like this. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you saw a pair of jeans that you like because Gap jeans are good. They have the perfect amount of stretch, the perfect give. I just am rarely, rarely disappointed with a pair of Gap jeans. And I feel good about you trying any of these, even the khaki pants, I think you would love those. I think you would love this blazer. I wanted it, but I, I didn't know if I needed it. So I tried it on in the store. And as soon as I tried it on, I had to have it. Okay, for my accessories today, I have on still my Jenny Bird bangles. I have loved them. They're like, they feel like part of me now. I've got on the Rose Quartz Plaza ring. I don't think I have on any earrings. I've got on a necklace. My parents just got this pendant for me. The other day they brought it over here. They found it at one of the jewelry stores that they go to and I love it. They know I love to wear stuff like this, a big like gold medallion. And my nails, nothing special. I think it's Chanel Ballerina. That's what it is. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.